वेलकम बैक डे थ्री ऑफ द थर्टी डे चैलेंज फ्रेंड्स ऑफ इंग्लिश सीरीज विथ लविंगली योर्स इंग्लिश सो हाउ इज डे वन एंड डे टू यू रीड द प्रोनाउंसिएशन प्रैक्टिस ये इट इज ईजी इज इंट इट दिस नो स्ट्रगल दिस नो स्ट्रगल इफ यू डू द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन द राइट मैनर सो डिड यू लिसन टू द स्पीच और डिड यू एटलीस्ट लुक एट द बुक डिड यू लिसन टू द सॉन्ग इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आई एम ऑन top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation i can find yes it's beautiful you know the journey becomes beautiful if you surround yourself with the joyful experiences practice be joyful and let's get into the activities of day 3 session 1 of day 3 we are again going to start with some warming up so please focus right away on the movement of the lips the tongue the jaws and the palates you know the positions so some of the sounds that we are going to do have almost the same shape of the lips right so focus the first one is t t table talk task tau yes that's t for you and let's also put the sentence along so say it with me please listen to the sentence and then repeat with me yes take the technology as a tool take technology as a tool take technology as a tool you know t t that sound please say it repeat it at least a few times before we go on to the next sentence right do it right away it's better rather than you know procrastinating on it do it right away you can pause the video okay so right so let's do the second one the second sound is d you see earlier you saw t now d d do did don date day you see d d hmm? the alphabet d has got the sound of d d so let's go to the sentence dash downtown to dash downtown to see the dewy dawn dash downtown to see the dewy dawn d dash downtown dewy dawn right please say it aloud don't worry about the faces that we make okay because uh, when we learn we have to make this basic shapes and once you start talking nobody is going to look at you know uh, really focusing on the what are the funny shapes you're making right so please don't shy away please say it aloud hmm? next one is j j the letter j the sound j judge joy uh, junior j okay so the sentence join joyfully without judging join joyfully without judging you see join joyfully judging j you see the lip shape of the lips is all flat and almost parallel yes and this sentence is thought for today on the similar lines the next sound is ch here you have two of the alphabet coming together c and h so when c is followed by h it is uh, the sound is ch 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 uh, chest chart chalk okay so the sentence coming with this 
Chart your time to chat, chop and chew. Chart your time to chop, chat and chew. This is what we are doing nowadays, yes, during the lockdown time. Chatting, chopping and uh, chewing all the way to glory. Now, so this again, the ch, ch, ch sound. The fourth uh, sound is ch. Now, the fifth one is, do you remember? We have already uh, done this, the, the alphabet where the lips are almost parallel. Hmm? Do you remember? Yes, that's n. N sound. Mm. Noun, noon, uh, no, no, no means no, okay, n mm sound. Um, so if you've seen all these five alphabet have the sounds where the lips are almost parallel, okay. So they're not meeting, t, d, ch, n, and J. So these were the five alphabets for today and the sentences. Please say it aloud and practice it. Practice seven to eight times once, at least three times a day. So now you've got five plus five plus five, 15 sentences for practice. So please don't forget to record and send it to me on the email ID mentioned in the description box. Let's move on. Come on, let's move on. So session two of day three. We are going to build upon what we built in uh, the session two of day two. We recollected some vocabulary from memory and I also asked you to just go around your house or into the rooms, different uh, parts of your house and just get vocabulary and do what? I asked you to give it a pair, give it a company. So uh, apple, just the word apple became crunchy apple, orange became juicy orange. Yes, so we gave a descriptive word to each word. So I hope you must have collected uh, uh, at least um, 50 words on the lower side. But the higher side is, uh, you know, indefinite. You just can't go on and on and on. And it's lovely if you keep doing it. You'll be amazed to see the number of words you have in your mind, which are actually lying in the backyard. Pull all of them and bring it to the front. That's what we are going to do. Going to do and uh, going to do during this journey in uh, the 30 day challenge right so today there's another technique which i'm going to share with you which is fantastic for vocabulary building i have already mentioned it one of in one of my videos and that is word mapping it is a beautiful technique wherein you actually group all the words together you know grouping was our brain uh, memorizes the words more effectively when it is done in groups, clusters. Any information you store in clusters, that means in connection, the brain um, does a fantastic job of that. And you can use immediately. You know, it's easy to re uh, retain and uh, access it whenever required. So how do you prepare a word map? You're going to make families of word. Now, suppose you're in your living room, you make all, you get all the words related to a living room in on one page so you write on uh, take an a4 sheet write living room in the center and just uh, make arrows around it and name name the different things that you have in living room it's easy for you to build a paragraph similarly any topic you want to talk on uh, family you want to talk on travel you want to talk on a place any information you just create a family of vocabulary together place it together and this is a beautiful beautiful technique which you can ask your kids to do your friends to do share it it's a game you can make it as a game and uh, uh, you know time it up and you can see how many words you can write when you and it's very easy to recollect words when you are trying to pull it out on a similar topic okay guys this video is being taken on a selfie camera so whatever I show it to you you will get only a mirror image but I'm putting a slide so that you can uh, refer to it later but for now I'm just wanting to show you this the way you know this is a living room in the center in the circle and I put arrows and uh, I just want you to, I just want you to write different words like uh, 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 curtains or rug or carpet, um, a television, stereo, speakers, anything. Now another word map that I have made is uh, the use of the word made. Made here is in the center 
and you have made up made off made for made in made from okay it's easy that uh, at one in one shot you get uh, so many words your vocabulary your vocabulary is becoming richer and richer yeah now this is a beautiful task which you can do whenever you have time free time just uh, you don't need much uh, <coughs> resources to do it so just take me a for sheet just make a web word map and uh, in a day if you can do at least uh, two or three word maps and just see in a month your vocabulary with will just double and triple take a look at the two slides which are coming up uh, one is a word map on house and uh, another one word map for mother both are on the basic level and it will help you to get started on putting words together on one topic that is the first thing that you need to do when you start talking okay and i've also put a basic paragraph on my mother i know the this passage is not enough to define uh, uh, mother uh, you know mother concept or your mother but to start with to begin this this is the task word maps are very effective tools in building vocabulary i am insisting again and again on the same uh, uh, thought because i know it really works i i base i do all my works based on word maps for any task okay so please do that and uh, these are the two tasks for the day 3 one is uh, you remember all the five uh, sounds which have similar uh, shapes of lips and then this uh, task making word map every day please make at least two apart from this in the description box you can see a few tasks for uh, watching listening read, uh, reading okay please do surround yourself with english language it becomes much easier and learning english will become a piece of cake if we put in the right amount of work Okay uh, before I see you in the next video please uh, keep yourself safe sound and healthy and if you've liked this video please do like subscribe and share with your friends please i would love to see your comments waiting for that see you in the next